What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Homesick and Westbound. Today we're going to bring you the conclusion of our specialty coffee and vegan food tour in Bucharest, Romania. If by chance you didn't see part one, there's a link to it above. It might be over there. I don't remember. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, let's roll that reel and get moving. God, guys, you wouldn't believe it. It is gorgeous outside. Like, see, I'm in a t-shirt. I'm in a t-shirt. It's been so freezing. I've been wearing like all of my layers and everything. And today it's so gorgeous. I actually decided rather than make this gorgeous day a travel day, um, and also because I got sick over the weekend, that I'm going to uh, I'm going to spend another day here in Bucharest and explore some of the things that I would have explored on the day that I lost uh, sleeping in bed. Okay, so I'm about to get on the metro down here. Oh, there goes one. Yeah, I absolutely love riding the public transport when I travel places because it gives you a real picture into the life of the people and that's really what I'm at. I'm not really so much about sightseeing and about uh, going, doing tours. I mean, you guys must know that by now, but by taking the public transport in a, in a place, you really get to see the way people live. It's one of those real glimpses you get into uh, how people live their day-to-day -day lives in a place or particularly in a city. You know, obviously it's different uh, in rural areas. I don't know. Anyway, I really love it. And I, uh, I hope when you guys travel that you, uh, that you take the opportunity. If you can take buses, buses actually give you a little bit more of an ability to orient yourselves around a town because you can see where you are. You're traveling above ground. It becomes a little bit more difficult if you travel all underground. Uh, when I first moved to Korea, that was actually an issue. I traveled by metro all the time, and then um, areas that I was actually sort of familiar with, I didn't know what was going on in the areas that I passed through every day because I was, I was always on the metro. Once I started taking the buses, that really helped me to orient myself to the city. And uh, so I think that's a really kind of a fast trick if you want to know, know your way around a place if you're going to be there for just a few days. I guess it helps you to stay cool, right? So I'm walking my way now to Bob Coffee. And now the barista or the head barista here at Bob Coffee was national barista champion for Romania this year. And uh, I'm expecting really good things. It's kind of, it's Monday, it's kind of prime time. So I reckon he's gonna be there. And, uh, and I've also heard nothing but great things about Bob Coffee. So I think I'm gonna get a really nice, uh, really nice cup over here so let's go see plan got foiled. I had an awesome time at Bob Coffee. I got to shoot a little video with them, try some great coffee, and they gave me some stickers. Then I tried to go to Bo... I don't know. I tried to go to a vegan restaurant that was closed, but the only way they announced it was a sign on the door, so it's a little bit too late once you're already there, right? I found another place. They're about a 10-minute walk down the road here, down this beautiful avenue, as you can see. We're going to get there. So I'm here at 
Raw Bakery, Raw Vegan and Baked Goods. And my God, do they have a selection. It is out of this world, it's crazy. I took some photos and it's like overwhelming the choices. They also have a few little things like this quiche, this spinach quiche that I'm eating, it's like spinach and tofu. And it's one of the kind of things that, you know, has a, has a cooked crust or whatever. But my God, it's such a cute little location. Like uh, the family that runs this, they did a really great job with the presentation of everything. It's a super cute little place, on a quiet little street. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful inside. I'll give you guys a look. I had some really difficult choices and what I decided on was come down here with me. The raw Snickers, the raw Bounty, salted caramel, and also one that's not out here in the display case, and that's a raspberry, and uh, this raw raspberry. And oh my God, they all sound so good. I'm really excited. He's a little nervous for me that I'm gonna try to eat all these right now. I'm not gonna finish them all right now. I'm just going to try each one, and then I'll take the rest of them with me for a little snack later, or for the road, you know? Do you guys believe this? Mircha, he's brought me all these wonderful things, and then he tells me to eat the raspberry one. I have to wait 10 minutes. It's not that bad, because I can actually eat the vegan Snickers and Bounty right now, which I'm going to, apparently. Vegan Bounty. Oh, f <laughs> That's so good. If you come to Bucharest, you have to come here. Okay, the inner child in me now knows that the time is up and I can finally eat these. So, first up we have the raspberry. Oh my goodness. This raspberry. Yeah, I already had a bite. Quit judging me. It's got a whole layer of fresh crushed raspberries. Oh. Oh God. God, I love this. Next up, salted caramel. This salted caramel is bananas. It must have turmeric or it's some kind of Indian spice in it. It almost reminds me of like a chai tea or um, or some kind of curry inside. I, I can't quite tell, I'm gonna have to ask, but, and maybe they won't reveal their secret recipe. Maybe they shouldn't, but man, there's something really unique about this. Cardamom, that's what it is. There's cardamom in this. Oh man, it's incredible. Mm. Look at this park. This is absolutely gorgeous. The huge bike path. Big park, beautiful trees. I just ate so many sweets and I'm for sure got diabetes. And, uh, <laughs> and I decided I better walk it off a little bit. So instead of taking the Metro, I'm gonna walk and it's about an hour to get down to this bookstore that I've been meaning to check out, whose name I can't really say but I'll work it out and then I'll leave. Ooh, their trains are much busier than I expected. It's, uh, it's rush hour at this main line here. It was, uh, it was crammed in like we were at Shibuya Station or something. I've never 
never even heard of this place. They've got a badass Astoria. Ted's Coffee. I don't know if they're any good, but uh, they most certainly uh, have a decent espresso machine. They got the gear they need to make something decent. We're gonna find this bookstore. It's called Cartoresti. Cartoresti. Something like that. I'm butchering it. This is a refurbished building that was uh, actually returned to its rightful owner after, after it was uh, after it was confiscated during the communist era and then was later abandoned and they've actually returned it to uh, to the family that originally owned it who have then restored it and converted it to uh, apparently a very fabulous bookstore we're gonna find out in just a moment yeah I was being silly with the camera and I passed it so now we're on our way back ah, I see it I see it here we are Wow, so this place is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I do have to say it's kind of it has an unusually corporate feel for uh, for a place that's a restored historical building. I think that could be just the kind of bookstore it is, but uh, you know, it doesn't feel that far off from a Barnes and Noble or whatever, but the structure itself is actually really beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna have a look around. How to be an anti-capitalist in the 21st century. First thing to do, buy this book. I gotta say though, I know I called this bookstore a little corporate, they have a pretty respectable metal selection. I mean, for just a random store. All right, so it's always a funny thing, and it's a thing that I'm working on as a travel vlogger, is that anytime I enter or exit a place, that I need to introduce that place when I show up but I also need to kind of wrap it up whenever I leave. And I, seriously, I always forget. So that's what happened with the bookstore. But I'm getting better, I promise. As this footage progresses, I get more intentional with my shooting, and hopefully these videos are gonna improve for you. Uh, anyway, if you like these videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up. That lets me know that I'm on the right track. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to join me next week as I take a commuter train to Bulgaria. Until then, stay homesick and stay vegan. So, I finally leave the hostel today, the hole of the hostel, and, uh, and I'm walking to the grocery store, and I, and I look over beside a derelict building, and there's a damn missile. <laughs> I mean, we sometimes put, like, monuments, tanks, like that, out front of VFW halls and things like that. This is the first time I've ever seen a missile. Right on, Romania.